What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. I just saw the movie Stronger. I just want people to see how amazing my son is. We're gonna walk. You know, I'm gonna walk with you again someday. Yeah, you're looking at this video right. Don't have a set today, so I figured I'd, I'd just do my voice because that's all you're here for. You're not here for my face. You're here for my voice. I'm Mark Wahlberg. I just put out my Kingsman The Golden Circle review so you guys can go to my channel, check that out, and I've been doing some trailer reactions on the Stardust app. You should download it. It's super cool, but right now we are talking about, oh man, this very emotional movie called Stronger. Let's talk about the good. Yup, ha, ah, this one got me. So Stronger is a story with heart, emotion, and tear-jerking moments. All things that work on occasion, but can get pretty stale if they're not handled correctly. Luckily, this movie handles these things with care. It also goes in a direction that I didn't think it would, which is cool. Gyllenhaal, I mean the guy, one, wasn't nominated for Nightcrawler. I will never, ever get over that. And two, when is he ever going to be bad in a movie? I mean, even terrible movies are better because he is in them. I mean, have you seen The Bubble Boy? But seriously, go through his IMDb page. He has given a phenomenal performance every year since 2011. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. And we have found his 2017 edition with Stronger. This is an Oscar nomination worthy performance for sure. I mean, I don't know if he'll get it at this point, but if I could vote, he would get mine. And Hugh Jackman for Logan. He starts out as one guy and takes this tragedy as hard as you would expect anyone to take it. He wants to be one thing in front of his family, but struggles finding the meaning of it all. It hurts seeing someone just sit and stare into nothing while everyone around him is cheering. He really carries this movie with his performance with a ton of help from Tatiana Maslany. She needs more film roles. I mean, she could get nominated as well. The supporting cast all killed it. It's great seeing Clancy Brown, Mr. Krabs, and Lex Luthor in there as the dad. But where this one really gets me is the moments. The moments that you expect to be handled one way, but get them in a completely different different way. David Gordon Green does a wonderful job at keeping you in Bowman's head. You struggle with him, yet at times root against him. His reckless actions are hurting all of the ones that he loves, and I honestly don't know why Aaron stuck around for so long. I mean, technically, there were some wonderful shot selections. The score was pretty solid as well, and I just thought this was a beautiful movie. The color scheme, the way that it was filmed, the shot selection, like I said, it all just came together really well. All right, I've went on for too long. Let's tear it down. I lied to you. I can't tear this thing down. I hate to let my emotions get the best of me, but when a, when a feel-good movie is well acted and directed, I mean, that's a win-win. That being said, it has its problems. I mean, at times, you don't know why Erin does what she does. I would have liked to have had a little bit more focus on her in parts. It's not a movie I need to watch again. I mean, I love the experience, but it was a very simple story. Tragedy, fallout, resolution. The family, at times, is another thing. They seem to bit much. I mean, maybe that's what really happened and they were just so unrealistically annoying at times, but I, I just don't think it translated well in the movie and they were rude to the point to where it felt unbelievable. There are a couple of characters that pop up here and there and I'm like, okay, what was the purpose? What was the point of that character? And my last point, I hate to do this, but Patriot's Day. I enjoyed that movie more. I shouldn't compare them just because they have the same subject matter, but I, I think that one just sucked me in a tad bit more. That that being said, they are two completely different movies. Don't go into this one expecting action. What we got was a feel-good story of hope, determination, and romance. And all three of those aspects really come together to create one of the better movies of the year so far. Jake gives maybe my second favorite performance of 2017, and I am going to give Stronger a solid 80%. I recommend this to absolutely everyone. I don't know how this couldn't rip your heart out, and, and to Jeff Bowman and to Carlos. Thank you, gentlemen, for truly being heroes. Alrighty then, go to the movies this weekend. Go watch It again, uh, or maybe this movie, or heck, even watch Kingsman The Golden Circle. That was fun. If you want to hear more about that movie, 
well, the video's right on my channel. And this Sunday at 9 p.m., Pop X Cast returns our podcast. Go find us on iTunes. We are always looking for you guys to come hang out with us. This weekend, we are talking about underrated comic book movies. That should be fun. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, and, uh, and breathing. That's pretty important. You guys are the absolute best, and I will catch you later. Thank you.